In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your placeholders for your columns in your Google Sheets tables. So here we have our sample data, and I'm going to show you how to use your placeholders so that it will be easy, especially when you're collaborating with someone, to just input their data and know what kind of data they're going to input. So let's say for this example, I want to add a, another column at the end, which would be the date that these managers have closed their sales. So we're going to do that by adding a column and to quickly add a column, you can just click on this icon right here, which will indicate insert column to the right. If you click on it, there we have it. So in this column, again, I'm going to add a date to make this into a date. All I have to do is to click on this arrow down, select edit column type and select date. In those options, we have date, date time or time. We're just going to select date. There we have it. Now, at the moment, they don't really know what it is yet. But of course, if we edit our column name, let's say date closed. There you go. Double click on that to adjust the size of your column. And to show that they can just enter a date anytime they want. Because if I do double click on it, it will show me the date. But not all people that you will be collaborating with would know that. So what you're going to do is to use placeholders. And to add your placeholders for this column right here, which is a date column, all we have to do is to go back to that drop down, go to edit column type and select show placeholders. If we click on that and here we have the placeholders that would indicate that a type of data that you will enter would be a date. So this makes it easier for you to communicate in the columns of your tables that these are the type of information that they're going to be adding onto the data or onto the table. So you can do this with any type of column. Let's say we're going to be adding one more row at the bottom because we're adding one more manager sales to quickly add a row. Click on this plus sign right here at the end. And there you have it. So that date placeholder was also automatically added as we added that row at the end. And we can also do the same thing with each of our columns right here. Let's start with the region. So at the moment, it's not really designated as a column type right now. These are just plain text. If we go to the arrow down right here and see what column type we have, it will tell us none. So even though we have our show placeholders checked, it doesn't show anything because again, our column type is none at the moment. If we put it in text and again, go back to edit column type and select show placeholders. It will give you the text region where you can just simply enter which region this manager belongs to. So for the text column type, it would depend on what type of column name you have at the top, which will be used as your placeholder. Let's do the same thing with our manager column right here. Again, click on that arrow down, go to edit column type. Again, we are at none. If we select text, there we have it. Go back and do the show placeholders. And there you go. Again, by doing this, you are communicating to your collaborators that these are the data or these are the type of data that they will be filling in in these columns right here. So as we add more rows right here, those placeholders will be automatically added. If we try the price right here, again, edit column type, it's a number in currency. If we show placeholders, there you have it. And that's how to use your placeholders for your columns in Google Sheets tables. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.